Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Supercard. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell. Today, we got Ring Domination, the Team Ring Domination. Guys, <laughs> but yeah, we've got Team Ring Domination Day 2 cards there, we're going to play that on both counts, and also we have got the new Money in the Bank card. Cat Daddy and 2K have kind of caused a bit of controversy with the card players with the rest of the card. So let's take a look right here. And we'll wait on our networks, but we can have an all the time during this event. As you can see, I'm just over two and a half k away from my 30k ladder award, which would be a diva. Hope but I got Oscar and I Jacks making pro. But yeah, let's go from the top. We have obviously 15 draft picks, um, four draft picks, 50 contracts. Got Bray Wyatt, Super Ref, 155. Two players get an Outlaw, and 2,520 you get an Italia. With 3,150 you get the Miz. 2095 you get Charlotte, 5040 you get Kobe Kingston, which is a pro my main account. Then this is where controversy has been caused. 7310 you can get Rusev or John Cena. That's where people are annoyed about because it was 5670. And even worse, it's 9920 contracts to get that Becky Lynch. I can kind of understand why they've done it because, like with the Million Bank. With actual money in the bank cards like Rollins and Reigns, it was easy to get them and other ones if you paid enough. So, yeah, I understand why they did it because obviously, if everyone's going to get the same cards, then it's going to make the game get even staler and more boring if everyone's going to have the same cards. So, yeah, I can understand why they did do it, but yeah, and also they cut it down to 10 days. Everyone's thinking they do. Uh, wait to do the reset because new money bank cycle. But there have been 30 days. Everyone now thinks that maybe not. Maybe the reset will still be happening after the money bank cycle, or just like with Royal Log Rewards during the money in the bank cycle. This next month is going to be quite big. We'll have to find out, wait and see what is going to happen in the soup card world. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, our own goes to get to 20 contracts, then we'll turn it to 40. Probably we'll get the first back Lynch tonight on this account. Won't be able to get it quite yet on my second account, though. We'll only on about 2k contracts. But yeah. If I had Charlotte on my second card, I would consider cashing on for her, but I don't. So I won't be. And I technically do, technically don't. I have this Fiber Fusion Pro Charlotte. Which I prefer that picture to it anyway. So, yeah, so there we go. We win that money in the bank match. 20 contracts times 2 again in briefcase 40. That'll give us 8,915. There we go. Just me being stupid. <laughs> so, yeah. And as you can probably tell, we have got the uh, WrestleMania around the autumn here, that's why we are currently doing the Mark Henry because the majority of us enjoy the team and domination. So yeah. So we play the boats here and then go to the team shot breakdown. Then we will go to my second count for a little game a bit of gameplay there as well. So Sting versus Nikki Bella. Um, it's just put Randy in the middle. Also, Raw was really good last night. I really enjoyed it. I didn't plan on staying up to watch it, but I did end up deciding to watch it, and it was good. I won't say what's happened. I don't spoil it for anyone. But yeah, it was good. 
here and the Zaro will pick up the victory there. Let's block in Bray Wyatt and get that guaranteed slot to the WrestleMania Pro Edge on his day. It's <laughs> been more complete rain. Of course, he could beat them in two slots. He can beat them in two slots. So let's put Braun there. Um, let's go for Rollins. Chris Speed Pitts was counted by next speed. So we got lucky we did go for Rollins, otherwise, we would have lost. There we pick up the victory there. Thanks to Seth. Freaking Rollins! Sam 2 victory, quite convincing. Yeah, if Sam 2, we would have won no matter what, I'm an idiot. Oh well. Wow. I was thinking it over then, so I thought we could lose, but we wouldn't have lost. We find a piece that picked up a great start to the video. more about to play and uh, as you can tell the survivor guard is Mac Henry not exactly something we really want but we just want to carry on playing the ring domination help each other get the cards leveled up so yeah we will carry on playing and yeah Sunny D got the rest of fusion I wanted the most he got the macho man Randy Savage so yeah if you could trade I would Definitely get sent him a trade to bitch for Macho Man. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's go after Randy with Macho. Go. One thing as well I noticed yes, is Alberto Dario's Epic Fusion is a left arrow, right arrow, but then his actual mini card is a down arrow, which is quite strange. There we go, Sister Abigail on Seamus Beverly Wyatt. Let's put Randy Orton by Macho Man. Let's challenge Sheamus with our second consecutive 7 2 victory for us here. It would be a lot better if it was a 9 0 victory because then we'll have 10 picks due to the pick doubler. So, yeah. Now we should know tomorrow, or we will know tomorrow the, what the RTG cards are. I'm hoping that undercard for the Brew iPad is a pro. Pro strength from the deck out a lot more. So, yeah. yeah, I did put on a couple of credits for us. For Addy. I was an idiot, I was put. Um, I was supposed to put that. I was supposed to do. I forgot to explain the chest six early on in the ring domination. I was meant to click 12 pick doublers, but I was an idiot and decided to. I don't know, it was the idiot and clicked on one, and then and also it lagged and I clicked, and I brought a boat. So, yeah. And the only reason why I didn't put money on it, I never said I was going to spend more, but I had two pounds spare. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to keep the rest of the credits. Now I'll bring the safe side to our RTG if I need them. Because obviously I won't be able to get it. I might not be able to get a free play, but if I can get a free play, then I will. If it looks like I'm not going to, then I'll use these credits to get the Brave White Pro. I don't know, I may use it or may not. I may just use the rest for team events. I'm going to think it through and also like, look where I am on RTG. Before I make my decision, and it's a third consecutive 7 2 victory. Three consecutive 7 2 victories, I've never had that before on RTG. So, yeah, Charisma, Sheamus, Toughness, and Eva Marie. So, have you got another about to play? No, we don't. Team Shower Breakdown. We've got Earth on 26 shards, Sunny D with 21 shards, going to check out his YouTube channel, Sunny Dazmoral. 
I've got 16 shards, Wendell's got 13 shards, Tcash 316's got 11, we'll check out his YouTube channel, Deep Blue Rock Metal. Here we've got Manuel, who's got 11 shards, Sid on 9 shards, go and check out his YouTube channel, Game Lover. Crispy with 8 shards, go and check out his YouTube channel, Crispy Characters and Tado. Eddie with 7 shards, and Sway with 3 shards, go and check out his YouTube channel, Sway Kadoso. So, yeah. And okay, level up Luke. And I've got like Randy to level up that, but I will just be level up super super rares and then checking them into cards. And Randy I'll most probably level up during RTG. Bra I'm not brave Finn in Max out yet either I'll probably um put him into my RTG deck and level him up tomorrow after this RD ends. Same with Randy Orton. I probably just won't um, level up and play the games with Finn tomorrow. No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to concentrate on getting Randy Orton Pro with my main account, second account. And then we'll start out Finn Balor. So we're going to have four bucks to play. We've got three currently and then one in 30 seconds. So, yeah. Also, if you don't, uh, also if you're not aware, Ballers does return, but in on the UK it returns tonight at 9 p.m. I think it is. I didn't finish watching season one, so I've put the whole of season one to. I've downloaded the whole of season one box set on my Skybox. That's what we get in the UK, and I'm going to plan on watching it. Very very soon, and I've got season two put to record. So yeah, and Brock Lesnar is going to beat Brock Lesnar. So yeah, so I'm probably going to have a chance to him, but the real edge, depending on where he goes. That one he's going to challenge Brock. That was speed. He blocks Brock. Brocks. And Ron is will win. So let's just put. Let's just go after Seth Rollins with the Rio. Speed Backbreaker Rene uh, Challenging Rock with Devon Mix Challenge Devon Yeah, and then just check one of the other as well. So we go Spear from Edge. And this is my second round, Jordan. I got both of them in the team deck. Both of them ain't good. They're levels on both of them ain't maxed yet. As we're doing our DVD cards together, we'll concentrate on that one up. So, yeah. Decent challenge. I'm probably just actually going to play this both and then. A little bit because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. It's a bit dull out today, raining, and, uh, and I am feeling a bit under the weather. I'm feeling a bit sick, uh, so this might be, like, most likely, will be the last game we do play. Let's see. What the fuck did I? This is sacrificial lamb, as people would say. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do as well after challenge with Booker. I'm going to use the resume to remind you it's impossible. That's my freebie one. I know if it is my Randy Orton, it's the one I had as my freebie. I challenged to have it for Randy Orton with him. Charisma, he procked. It's proc and lock and locker. Do you know what? Yeah, let's go after Randy Orton, Randy Orton, Randy, and Randy Graham. Prox and lift the RKO. RKO out of nowhere. And if he doesn't go underneath Randy, I'll go there. He doesn't, he challenges Booker T with an Alberta Dario Resume Pro. We go backbreaker on Booker. So let's challenge Rollins with Cesaro. And if he doesn't go above the epic program, you will have probably challenge a better area with Seth Rollins. And he does, he's going to challenge him with a Mark Henry. First strong slam. Ok, 
currently it's five three so let's challenge my game to set four and do win five four so as i said it's not an essay video as i had a feeling that the video wasn't gonna upload before 12 o'clock which it didn't so it still comes out as monday's video hence why i'm still still doing a video today so yeah so let's get these shards now we find a shard rev randy Orton. Now we're not trying to hit Facebook. Proceed. Team shard breakdown. County with 142. We've got Sarko, the owner, leading the way with 21 shards. Then it's me and HP Love Shaft with 18. Prince Jr. is joint with Lil C 16. Pokemon Master's got 13. Milk's got 12. Joey's got 11. Glenn's got 10. And Steve's got 7. So that's going to be it for today, guys. We'll be back again soon with another edition of WWE Supercard. I've been your host. Aaron Mitch from Team Jangalang and Cost signing off. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. And don't forget, peace. Out.